Hello, this is Dr. Kilgore with Dr. Kilgore's World with a review video on calculating area with fractional side lengths. So area is a skill that you've known for several years now, length times width. In fifth grade, we're adding to it that our side lengths are fractions. So let's go ahead and start with vocabulary. Make sure your notes are in front of you and that you're doing all of the work and problems with me during this video. So area is the amount of surface space in a two-dimensional shape. It is calculated by length times width. So when we come over to the whiteboard, let's say we have a square pretend that that's very squary, with the side lengths that are one half of a centimeter. Well, lines like this tell me that one half of a centimeter is all the way around. So area equals length times width. We have area equals one half times one half. Area equals, remember we multiply straight across because it's multiplication. One times one is one. Two times two is four. So one fourth centimeters squared. Remember our PAV strategy. P is for perimeter, has one dot. That means it's just the unit. A is for area. Two dots down here on the bottom. That means it's squared. And of course, volume has three dots there. And volume is cubed. So let's go ahead and look at a rectangle. If we call this side two-fifths of a meter, and this side one third of a meter, area equals two-fifths times one-third, area equals two times one is two, five times three is fifteen, so area equals two-fifteenths meters squared. Make sure that we square that. Let's go ahead and clear this out and we will do a couple more practice problems together. Step it up just a little bit more. If we go one and one half yards and on the side, let's go three fourths of a yard. So area equals one and one half times three fourths. Okay, remember one and one half. We have to go ahead and make that into an improper fraction to multiply. So two times one is two plus one is three. Three halves times three fourths. Area equals three times three is nine. Two times four is eight. It is improper. Eight will go into nine once and have one eighth left over. So area equals one and one eighth yards squared because it is area. Let's go ahead and look more of a square type figure. We're going to call it two and one third. And we'll say it's a square. And we're going to call it meters. So area equals two and one third times two and one third. 
we have to make them improper. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So we are doing 7 thirds times 7 thirds. Area equals 49 ninths. 49 divided by 9. 5 would be 45. Subtract 4. So 5 and 4 ninths. It's always important to label. We have meters and they are squared because it is area. So I hope that this video has been a quick refresher on how to calculate area with fractional side length.